Good morning, my QuickBooks friend. Um, so I was looking at the accounts receivable and I pulled this report and accounts receivable is negative. Now see, this is really confusing. It appears here, we have received all these payments, but they have no invoice applied to or that they are applied to. So we had to figure out what's going on with them. This is a cleanup job. All right, so we click on Let's go pull up the report. Go to reports. Accounts receivable aging. Here we go. So if we click on the first one to see what it is, click on the number. It's this guy. And go up here, you see this blue link where it says one online banking match? Payment. Andrew. All right. Bloop, bloop. Delete. Let's go see if it went back to the banking feed. Boop. Yes. See, there it is. Find a match. Nothing. All right. Let's go see if it's still on the report. Nope, it's gone. All right, cool. Click on the next one. Look at it. Okay, now this one says deposit amount of 25, deposit on 10, 26, 20. If you look up here in the top left corner by the customer name, it says the deposit. This is a payment that was received and it's not matched to anything. So what we need to do, we need to go to this Ashley Knowles customer profile. Let's get out of here. Bloop. Go over here, sales, customers. Let's search for Miss Ashley. There we go, Ashley. Now see how she has this $25 open up here in the top right. We need to fix that. So I'm going to make an invoice on 10, 14, 20 to go with this payment. I can't delete this payment because it was paid by QuickBooks payments. So it must be dealt with differently. So we want an invoice. For Ashley, you want to click the send later button. We don't want Ashley to know what we're doing over here, okay? She's going to think we're dumb. Ashley, what was that? It's like 10, 20, or 20. I created a dummy product in here for this so as not to affect that regular inventory. This is a non inventory product, so it won't keep track of how many or affect the cost of goods sold account. So I think this was at 35 and make sure that's sent later so they don't get an email. Save and close. Oh, but wait, I need to go back in there. It needs to be non-taxable because see how it came up at 37 when I put in 35 I actually need to change it to 25, non-taxable. Untax. There we go. Check that box again for send later. Save and close. Link to other, yes. 
Okay, so now see they cancel each other out. They applied each other and up here we have two zeros. So this is good. And then we'll just run back to our report and see who's next. Carlos Estorga, $50. Let's check this guy out. Okay, now see this is a QuickBooks payment too. And the way I know that it was processed through QuickBooks payments within QuickBooks Online is because of this amount. This line right here, right underneath the customer name. So also here tells you that it came through QuickBooks payment. And that means we can't delete this payment. So we need to create something to go with it for Carlos. So we'll go back over here to Carlos. Ten, fifteen, twenty. We want to make sure to put them all in the right dates, in the right year, in the right month. All right, Carlos, we'll send later. No tax. Send later. Save and close. Okay, very good. We've got zeros back to the report. Now, you don't need to go back and forth through the report all day like this. This is just how I'm doing it right now. Another good way to do it is to use your little snipping tool um, that's down here at the bottom with the scissors and the circle. And then you can snip out this piece and hang on to it on your other screen or to the side. And then you'll know who these people are without the list. You won't have to keep coming back here. All right, so Danny. Another QuickBooks payment. So that means we need to make an invoice for Danny on this date. Boop, copy, close. Sales, customers. The reason I keep going back to look up the customers because I found one that had an invoice that was voided. So I just brought it back to life. But this one doesn't have anything. No invoice. Danny with no last name. Send later. Invoice date. And later, save and close. Only needed to be twenty five. All right, now we're good there. Back to the list. Daryl Branham is left for 25. He's next. Same here, and that's all. Carry on till the list is gone. And then you will no longer have a negative accounts receivable. The way that this happened is it was a cleanup job. All the invoices were all over the place and partially deleted. So if you create an invoice and then it gets paid by QuickBooks payments, you're not going to be able to delete the payment. So you're going to have to recreate an invoice. Um, chances are the amounts that should have matched up with these payments are all mixed into a huge jumble and accepted into income. So it's not matching up with these things that are setting in undeposited payments. The invoice with the payment is not matching up. 
Let me know if you have any questions.